Um, yeah, so small stream today. Um, basically, last night I saw that there was that Nintendo were about to go live today for a third Breath of the, uh, Breath of the Wild uh, Tears of the Kingdom trailer, and I wasn't expecting this because I thought, well, we're not going to get any more because they, they just did the gameplay uh, thing the other week, and the game's only a month away. Releases a month yesterday, so I didn't think this would be a stream I'd be doing. I wasn't sure if I'd actually be able to stream or not today. I've got a pretty busy evening. Basically from 4.30 I'm not at home until like maybe 11, 10 at night. Uh, though I digress, that's besides the fact. So I wasn't sure whether I was going to stream today, but I saw this and I thought, well, I want to capture my reaction to what is potentially the final trailer for Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, so that's why you're here seeing me now. Uh, I can take this off. I was playing um, Sator War Zones earlier. Why, oh why, do I get Discord pings when I don't need them? Anyway. Um, yeah, so... Prediction time, I suppose. Um, I have no predictions. Genuinely, I don't. I was... <laughs> because the thing is, I'm not... I wasn't expecting a trailer, so... You can't necessarily blame me for not having a prediction. Uh, I, I was thinking the last trailer... The gameplay demo... Was it the gameplay reveal, rather, that we got... Was more and more gonna be basically what we got until the game actually launched uh but i guess we're gonna get a bit more information i'm not pre i wasn't prepared for it really i wasn't i thought they've announced the actual date um you know they've announced the actual title of the game they've announced the date they announced um uh, you know pre-order bonuses and uh the a fucking collector's edition. Oh my god. Um, I'm definitely going to get that amiibo when it drops though. I definitely want the amiibo. Uh, and then also. Like they've done the gameplay. So they don't. Ne they've done. They've shown off like some of the new gameplay stuff. So I can't necessarily think. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that kind of elaborates on some stuff we saw in the trailers. So, what are we going to see for this? I think the only interesting couple things I took away from the gameplay reveal was... A, we appearing to see like a new snake serpent dragon, sort of in the background. We saw it in one of the other trailers, but I thought at first it was Nadra, but a lot of people online are pointing out that it's potentially... A new dragon entirely. So something like directly Zonai. So maybe the Zonai deity itself. And uh, not Farosh. Like we thought it might have been. Um, talking, speaking of Zonai. Um, yeah we got actual confirmation. That the Zonai are behind the Sky Islands. Um, one of those constructs. Construct enemies from the leaks. That we saw in the gameplay. A reveal, um, it dropped what was called a Zonai charge. It wasn't elaborated on, but that's it is basically the most explicit confirmation that we're gonna get of uh, the Zonai being involved in something. Like, it was obvious for a while, but the very fact that we now have like that direct confirmation that they are responsible is pretty important i think because it actually just provides like confirmation not direct confirmation but more interesting confirmation to the fact that a lot of these theories about the zonai's involvement in the game are true uh i don't know what to make of that at the moment the Zonai are pretty elusive, and a million other people have covered the topic way better than I could in about 2 minutes 53 seconds. Um, but yeah, that's it really. We only have 
I don't have much. The only thing I want to see from this trailer is more Ganondorf. Because when they dropped that last trailer at the end of the direct, I was, mmm, I loved that voice. <laughs> I'm actually so glad they gave him that voice as well. Like, I know he's a disheveled skeleton, but the last thing I actually wanted was some voice like this, where he's really dehydrated and you can tell his lungs are basically dust. You know, I didn't want that. I am so glad we have, like, an actual, man, like, deep, manly, intimidating Ganondorf voice. I love it. Oh, boy, I'm such a fucking fanboy. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I really want to see, but even then, I imagine they're going to throw something I'm not expecting in the trailer. Like, they've always done something in the trailer so far that I wasn't expecting. Um, I think one thing, for example, the, I wasn't expecting a Breath of the Wild sequel, I will be honest. I genuinely wasn't expecting a sequel, so when they announced that at E3 2019, I was like, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? That, that caught me off guard. Uh, later trailers and all that, with the Sky Islands, that... Sky Islands, I think, caught everyone somewhat off guard. I think we all thought that that was pretty much covered in uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, I think most people I know uh, had that kind of reaction. Like, Whoa, Sky Islands. Um, then, of course, in the official reveal, in like name reveal, we had, well, Tears of the Kingdom and the weird tapestry. And we get that again in the last trailer. But then we get all the weird funky stuff uh, that you don't expect each time. Like a shield flamethrower, the rewind ability... Uh, and now we've obviously got elaboration weapon fusion. The fucking car. I was not expecting that. Where you're actually able, like, I thought that was such a cool thing because obviously you can make glitches, like, I'm well, not glitches, but you can exploit Breath of the Wild to do stuff like that. I might do it tomorrow on stream, just to show it off. But the fact that that it becomes a game feature is amazing. Anyway, here we go.